What's poppin' fam? What's poppin'? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lady Nika, and with last night's episode of the Black Ink Crew Chicago Season 4, Episode 7, entitled White Tacticals. Ooh, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> last night was so lackluster on this channel, on this video, uh, on this particular show, y'all, that, girl, I just did not feel like pushing through. I don't know. Then again, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I had my first real cocktail since, you know, I had the little mini stroke or whatnot. And, child, I'm gonna tell you, y'all, I had a small little cup. Of my favorite. Y'all know my favorite. The church's chicken tea with the vodka, bitch. Girl, when I tell you my body had not had no alcohol in almost a month. And I tried to sip. Baby, I didn't drink half of it before I was in. I was in a whole nother world. Child, I was up there in the clouds. When I tell you I was dancing with the clouds. Child, I was dancing with the clouds last night. Child, I the shit. I believe I could fly last night. I ain't lying. So I was like, you know what? It was lackluster. My people gonna understand. Because I had dropped two on y'all yesterday. You know, some less chats or whatnot. So I knew y'all would kind of understand a little bit that I wasn't uh, in the building. But that's why, girl, it was boring. Then I fucked around and started drinking on that shit. And, and before I know the girl, I, I ain't know the alcohol. Because I'm a soldier, you know what I'm saying? I'm a soldier when it comes to that drinking thing. But, girl, I lost it. I, I could not do it last night. I was like a brand new person to alcohol last night. I think I gulped that thing about two times. And when I tell y'all, I was lit. Bitch. <laughs> Hey, I was lit, but that ain't what y'all come down here for. So let's go on talk about this lack of little stats episode. It must have was a filler because I got nothing out of it, okay? And then it seemed like it was really, I know that Black Ink Crew Chicago scripted, but damn it, hide it from us, okay? Last night they ain't hide shit, bitch, I could tell. But let's talk about it nevertheless because I know y'all want to hear what I had to say. I ain't got shit to say. That's what I got to say. <laughs> okay, let me go on and do the review. I ain't drunk, y'all. I'm just in a good mood today. That's all it is. I feel like being silly today. Let's talk about these hoes. Let's run these hoes down one by one. Charmaine. Bitch, you crazy as hell. Now, this is going to be a little bit different because I told y'all it ain't a whole lot to it. So, I got to try to spew. I got to spice it up a little bit to make this even worth listening to. Okay? So, girl, we going to go motherfucker by motherfucker on we Okay? Let's start with Charmaine. Now, y'all know Charmaine thinks she the head bitch in charge. The HBIC because she done bought an LLC. I don't understand the mentality of the... They let you know these people don't have no damn sense whatsoever. She bought the LLC. That's just a damn name. Y'all can change that damn name and move on like business supposed to move on if y'all not okay with her doing this, okay? But nobody in there seems to get that. So she coming there on her first day is reigning HBIC. And her thought process told her that... She should be taking 50% of what these people make. They ain't supposed to accept nothing but credit cards and, and debit cards. And she actually thought they, and she want them to work a nine to five. They want like a regular job. Bitch, this is considered self-employment. First of all, it's self-employment. Secondly, if they play their booth rental, what the fuck is they supposed to give you 50% of, the, of their money from tattooing? I don't blame Lily for saying hell to the no. And everybody else in there thought that she was out of her mind. Even her ace boom coon Danielle said she doing a bit much at this point. What you going to do with that 50%? I'm going to put it back in the business. Nah, bitch, that's how you going to get paid because you're going to be paid off of them. You got She got to be crazy as hell to think that shit was going to work. And what nobody in, uh, what nobody in agreement with that. Lily and Reese. I finally remember her name, y'all. The new girl, Reese. They got so mad, they decided to protest on that hoe. They went and got one of them blow-up dolls. They they wanted a rat, but they was out of rats. So, they got um 
a witch they said that was similar looking to Charmaine and they decided to go on strike outside of the Loyal Inc. building, okay? Now, Charmaine mama came into town to visit with her and she ended up telling her mama what all she had done to the crew, right? And as far as getting that LLC behind their back and, and everything. And her mama gave her the business. And I was here for mama. She said, I didn't raise you to be uh, mean and dictative. You didn't explain that to them. And more importantly, Charmaine, they're the talent. You ain't got no talent. You just got here. They've been doing this for years. That wasn't right what you did. So then she gets emotional talking about she may have lost her, her lost their trust. You think, bitch? Do you think? You go behind my back after I put my money into this business where we're all supposed to have equal partnership. And you buy the LLC and think you can walk in there because you own the LLC and control people? Girl, sit your ass down some damn well. That was dis that dis that was disredam respectful. And she got what she deserved. Her mama gave her her damn ass to her in her hand. And I said, yes, God, mama, gather her boots. She got to go back and make it right. But once she go over there to the shop and see that Lily and Reese had set up their uh, protest and stuff, she gets mad talking about she ain't apologize. Bitch, you should still apologize regardless of the fact. You supposed to apologize because you was all the way out of order, ma'am. You was out of order for what you did. Then we got Van and Jen. I remember when this shit happened on social media a couple of months ago. Apparently, Van's brother was down to the club. Seen Jen leaving at the club with a man. Don't know if this is a relative, a friend, a business associate. Don't know who this man is. But you done got on the phone and called an already slow ass van. You fine, but you slow. But uh, call him and tell him that the girl done been down to the club with a man. So he is in his fields going over to her house to check her about what she was doing with this man. He gets to her house. She basically tell him... Uh, you were giving me a charge for something you have no proof that I did. Did you see me? So instead of him calming his nerves down, but see that he was on that liquid courage. That's the reason why he was acting so stupid. He go out there and kick her fucking van. Girl, if he would have kicked my van, I would have kicked his ass. He would have had to prove to me that he was Hulkamania that day. But he gets out there kicking her van. And, I mean, her SUV and go, her Mercedes truck, actually. And talking about, you know, he pissed off at what she doing because she gave him the real. You, did you see me? Did you see me? Okay, well, you ain't catch me in bed with nobody, so you can't make no assumptions that I'm cheating on you. She went out there and punked his ass out. See, I'm, that's how you know that they get down in their relationship. She stood in that motherfucker face and told him, I'm the real gorilla. Take that shirt off, bitch. I said, girl. All he could do is hit the damn camera equipment, which gonna come out of his paycheck if he broke them VH1 cameras, but and drive off calling her a bitch. So she say, oh, okay, that's how you want to do it. He wasn't answering her phone calls after that. So her and Nikki get together and go over to his house. Jen breaks in, bitch, through the window. Put all that ass through the window. Went up in his house, opened up the door for Nikki to get in. Because she said she wasn't climbing through no damn dirt ass window in her white jeans. And I said, yes, go. So get in there and she decides to take all, all his good clothing. And leave him a message written in ketchup that him and her is together forever. Because she say eight years. Oh, no, you're not going to take my eight years and just run away with it. At the same time, she's in his house. We see him trying to call her as he's in the car headed home. She don't answer. He's saying that maybe he should talk to her. So when he gets to the house, it's just as she and um Jen, ha uh, she and Nikki has left out the back door and taken his stuff. When he get in there, he see what she done did. Because he didn't realize that screeching noises that he heard outside his house. Because at this point, he inside. He didn't realize that screeching noise was her boning out because she done took your shit. Well, he get in there and he see that situation, okay? Then we got Lily and Reese out there protesting yet again. And um, as they're protesting, 
Cobra come. She done called Cobra and told Cobra, you know, everything was back straight since Nine Mag had dissolved the original, right? Lily, she get there and find out that Lily and them is out there protesting. So she go and ask Charmaine inside the building what's going on. Because Lily had let her know that Charmaine was talking about taking 50% of their they earnings trying to run a switch shop. So when Cobra go to her, she first of all let her know that ain't going to work. And then she told her, you know, what they had said. So she go out there and next thing we know, they end up tussling. And do you know Don was the one that had the enough sense to say, you know what, this shit is not right Y'all should not be out here acting a fool, tussling on the ground in front of other businesses for us to see. Just let it be what it is. Y'all going to have to agree to disagree and we start again tomorrow. And I said, it's a damn shame the dummy of the crew is the one that got the best sense. Now, we also saw him on this episode dealing with the everyday struggles of being a single parent. It's Mother's Day. And, you know, he wanted, he's seeing that it's a little bit more into being a parent full time by yourself than what he thought. The little child talked to his mama on video chat. He missing her. And, you know, Van, uh, Don is having to reconcile that, you know, he going to have to try to figure out how he going to take care of his family. Also in this episode, as I said, it's Mother's Day. And we thinking, you know, because Junior and Ryan had had a conversation, which they wasn't ever beefing. They had a disagreement. They back out in front of uh, the new site for Nine Mag. Somebody done put some graffiti on the damn window. Bella, the new assistant, comes. She ends up cleaning it. And that just segued into them having a conversation as to why Ryan and Rachel ain't married yet. And he said that he got to work on himself and build his trust up back for her. So when they have the fa uh, family reunion, well, not with no family reunion, it was a Mother's Day barbecue. He presented her with a new Mercedes opposed to getting her a ring. And she was cool with it. And I was cool with it. Everybody don't want to have a ring. Maybe they not there yet to where they want to have a ring. But that was, you know, that, that was his gift. And... She was very excited about it, and that, hell, I ain't got nothing to say about that, y'all. That's them people business. I don't really care for Ryan and Rachel together as a couple, no way, because I sometimes feel like she puts a lot of negative feelings into him that caused the demise of the Black Ink crew that was originally there. Now, they paid a part in it, too, and his ass did, too, but overall, I just, I mean, last night was a snooze fest for me. To be honest, that I talked a little bit more about myself and why I was late than I really gave y'all in the review because what I just told y'all is all that happened last night. Yep. What I just told y'all was the entire episode. There was nothing I left out. Junior and Ryan cool. Nikki and uh, uh, Jen and, and, and Van beefing over hearsay. She done broke into his house and took his shit. And Charmaine got checked by her mama. That's it. That's all. I don't know what else to give y'all. I'm sorry. That was all the Black Ink Crew last night. So, you know, do with it what you will. Y'all uh, put your thoughts in the panty section. That was all I could give it. I mean, this was a lackluster ass uh, uh, episode. It was worse than a filler to me. But that was last night's episode of Black and Crew Chicago Season 4, Episode 7. Get down in the panty section and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this situation, child. And I'm going to come back with you later on today with uh, Queen Sugar. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. Remember, the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate the video. Comment down in the panty section below. Subscribe to the channel for the free 99. Share the video if you want to. Child, I ain't mad if you don't share this one because this was lackluster. Okay? Anyway, I'll see you guys back later. Peace.